system for step four. And you can see uh, the same display being viewed uh, in the cupola uh, by Butch Wilmore and Samantha Christopher Reddy, who are uh, operating uh, the station's robotic arm, the 57-foot-long Canadarm2, that will reach out and grapple the grapple fixture on Dragon a short time from now. A Dragon arriving at the uh, final hold point at 30 meters or 98 feet away from the station at 3.56 a.m. Central Time. The International Space Station and Dragon currently moving from southwest to northeast across the uh, Pacific Ocean will uh, cross the west coast of Mexico north of Guadalajara a short time from now. Again, uh, the grapple uh, of Dragon expected uh, to occur some 35 minutes ahead of schedule at a time uh, that would be no earlier than one minute after sunrise to provide the uh, appropriate lighting for Station Commander Butch Wilmore, who is the uh, prime crew member for the grapple of Dragon operating uh, from the robotics workstation inside the cupola of the International Space Station, backed up by European Space Agency flight engineer Samantha Christopher Reddy. A good view of the uh, grapple fixture on uh, the SpaceX uh, cargo ship, uh, the top portion of which uh, is the only uh, cargo vehicle that returns intact uh, with uh, returning cargo and scientific experiments of all of the international uh, fleet of uh, resupply vehicles. Uh, that grapple fixture directly underneath that is a, a suite of navigation sensors. Dragon has arrived at its capture point, according uh, to flight controllers at uh, the SpaceX Control Center in Hawthorne. Station Houston on two. Dragon is holding at the capture point. Please perform step six in one decimal one zero two. Houston Station, we copy and work. That uh, exchange uh, between Randy Bresnick, the spacecraft communicator here in Mission Control, and uh, Samantha Christopher Reddy, indicating uh, that the procedures now uh, will be put in place uh, to begin uh, the movement of the station's robotic arm, the Canadarm2, towards uh, the grapple fixture on Dragon, uh, with capture anticipated no earlier than one minute after sunrise, uh, which would be approximately 4.39 a.m. Central Time, 5.39 Eastern, running well ahead of schedule, some 35 minutes or so ahead of schedule, uh, since everything has been going so smoothly uh, with uh, the rendezvous and all of Dragon systems and the crew uh, being eager to uh, grab onto Dragon and uh, get it uh, bolted into place. Dragon has now disabled its thrusters in the so-called free drift orientation so that uh, no inadvertent uh, thruster firings will perturbate the grapple of Dragon by the robotic arm that has now been set in motion by Station Commander Butch Wilmore operating from the robotics workstation in the cupola of the International Space Station. One meter now.
The end effector is now over the grapple pin. And we have grapple at 4.54 a.m. Central Time, 5.54 a.m. Eastern Time. We have captured Dragon, 262 statute miles over the Mediterranean. So once again, to recap, uh, Dragon now part of the International Space Station. It uh, will be uh, housed uh, at the Earth-facing port of the Harmony module of the station for the next 29 days until it is unbolted, unberthed, and released on Tuesday, February 10th to begin the journey back to Earth that will culminate with a return of supplies uh, and uh, critical scientific experiments with a splashdown in the Pacific Ocean uh, southwest of Long Beach, California in the late afternoon of February 10th.